there's no doubt about it. The days are getting longer, but the sun is getting stronger. You can feel the warm weather coming. Time to throw off our coats and get out and get some exercise. Matil, that means you too, darling. Yeah, of course it does. Now, in the past, I've shown you some great ways of exercising your dog. The dog racing over the jumps, grabbing the ball, racing back again against the clock. Exciting stuff. And then, of course, there was agility. Climbing up over the big triangle, going through those tubes. Great education for your dog. Well, guess what? Tonight, I've got two new games to show you. Splish, splash, I was taking the bell. Long about a Saturday night. That's the dog, Dave. That's a flying Where's dog. Where does that dog come from? So the dog runs along that platform, jumps in the sky, lands as far down the pool as possible, and that's the sport of dog dogs. That dog loved it. Absolutely loved it. You got other dogs that do the same thing? Too right. Oh. Every breed. Yeah, bring them on. There was a fishing and a Dave Graham is the man behind Doc Dogs. He established the Australian Canine Sports and Training Centre so dogs and their owners can bond through play and training. It started only about 10, 12 years ago in the United States and now it's a worldwide sport. It's pretty much so long jump for dogs. So how do you actually measure the distance? It's exactly where the tail meets the dog and that hits the water. I reckon that was at least 16 feet. So what we're trying to achieve there is what we call pop, and that's when the dog springs up in the air. And, of course, the more height you get, the more distance you get. And you see how he props himself yeah, right up? Yeah, he actually lands almost sitting up. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually knowing how the rules are, so he's trying to put that, that where the tail meets the dog as far forward as possible. You reckon? <laughs> Concentrated dog, look at that. Here we go. Everything. Oh, no. What happens when you get a refusal like that? Well, it's like a car, you know, you're just going to bang it up a few times. <laughs> there is only a few rules in dog dogs. One of them, you can never, ever push your dog in. Because any dog that might be frightened of that situation, if you push them in, that's going to intensify the fear. Absolutely ruin it for the dog. Short legs can be a handicap. Nadia is obviously a crowd favourite, right? So she is hopefully our longest jumper today. There goes the ball, there goes Nadia. Oh! Wow! That would have been at least 18 feet. That was a jump and a half. <laughs> Not all dogs are into big air jumps or landing in a pool of pretty cold water. So there is another new game. It involves a ball. It originated in Germany in about 2000. And I've got a local German here who's going to tell us all about it. Andrea, what's it called? It's called Tribal. So can I call it Tribal? Yes, you can. And what's it actually mean? It means to drive the ball. So the dog drives the ball. Interesting? You betcha. It's a real game of skill. Using its nose, the dog drives large exercise balls, one at a time, from a triangular formation near the goalposts as quickly as it can. You thought this is a cross between what? Soccer and snooker. Sounds appropriate. It does. So, Dave, how do you actually get the dog to push the ball in the first place? Well, it's a piece of tape that you start on your hand. The dog starts to put its nose on the target on your hand, and then the dog's got the concept of pressure equals reward, and then you start them on the ball. The dog's released from the owner, set on the mat, and then push with his nose the ball all the way back to the owner through the goalpost. Awesome. Very good. So, mate, who have we got up here? So we've got Casey and her Malinois Nikki. Lots and lots of energy. Boy, oh boy, she's like a bulldozer. Yeah, Straight up there, right? Awesome. Once the dogs have got through this initial training program, we get rid of the rails. And finally, we get to the end game. So what another great sport for dogs to participate in. Sure, it's only new, and it takes a bit of training to get your dog into it, but you get fun out of it, and moreover, your dog enjoys it. I'll leave you and me.